So I decided to try to learn how to do the splits in 30 days. And this is what happened. Alright, so day number one, I was just trying to establish a baseline of how flexible I already was. Now, for those of you who don't know, there are actually three different types of splits that I was going for. The first is a right front split, then a left front split, and then the middle split. Now, I had the most to gain out of training middle splits, but I definitely wanted to get all of these things down. So, day number one, I wasn't that focused on making certain progress or anything. I just wanted to see exactly how flexible I was. Now, I'm naturally a more flexible person, but that does not mean that I can do the splits at all. As you can see from this wonderful video right here, it was kind of painful. So, yeah, great times. So, after day number one, I decided that my goal is to, uh, you know, get my, yeah, you, you, you know, to touch the ground. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and uh, here's some kicks that I just threw in there just to See if I could get my flexibility any better, but uh, I never actually ended up coming back to this, so just ignore it. All right, so day number two. This was the first day that I actually trained the stretching before I did the splits. So as you can see, it's about the same as day number one, and it didn't take me long to run into a problem day number two. So as you can see right here during this middle split, it was actually very, very painful for me. And yeah, it was just not going well. So I did some research, like, a lot of research. Now, like any modern person, I just typed it right into YouTube. Why can't I do the middle split? And I can't tell you how many videos that I came up with and just started watching all these things. It was just, I eventually found something. Wait, what? What the hell is that? But I eventually found something that I thought was gonna work for me. Now, if you pay attention to my feet in this particular video, you notice that my foot is actually pointed up towards the sky. And actually in the previous video from day number two, my feet were pretty much parallel with the ground. That actually helped a lot. As you can see, I'm already making way more progress with the middle split than I was from the day before. So look at that, I'm happy. And yeah, so the days just started going by. I tried to train anywhere and everywhere. So this is in front of my tree and this is in the basement. <laughs> pretty much just training whenever I could, wherever I could just to get progress done. Speaking of progress, we can already see that I'm starting to improve just a little bit, not significant, but definitely, oh, yep, that hurt. Yep, definitely starting to make some progress, so that was really good. Now, I was doing my stretching routine about one time a day, and it took me anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, and we're gonna touch on that a little bit later, and yeah, move my dog all the time. So, this is about the first day that I actually started to see some real progress. This is around day number 10 right here, and as you can see, that right front split, I was almost like an inch off the ground. Oh my god, look at that middle split, so good. Again, right there, see? I'm happy. So I noticed that progress was actually going really smoothly, especially with that right front split and the middle split. So yeah, overall about day number 10, I was actually really satisfied with the progress I was making. I was doing really well and yeah, it was going great, but I wasn't always progressing. There was a lot of failing and sometimes even regressing. So as you can see from these clips here, I mean, I wasn't even getting close to where I was before, but it's all part of the process and you just gotta stick with it, honestly. If you guys try something like this, make sure to just keep grinding. Don't just stop and give up because one day you do bad, just keep going. So this is the first day that I actually felt my leg touch the ground. This is around day 20, so almost two thirds of the way through here. Look at that, beautiful. I got my leg pretty much on the ground. And about right here, when I go for this middle split, this is the first day that I actually sat myself all the way down on the ground. Now I had to cheat a little bit, and basically all I did was just lean back, so I wasn't actually in a complete line. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so now we're gonna go over the stretching routine that I did. So like I mentioned before, I did this once a day for about 10 minutes. So first thing we start off with is just a toe touch. Now for me, touching my toes has always been really easy, so I would go a little bit further. I try to put my hands over the bottoms of my feet. I always do this stretch first just because this is like the easiest stretch of the routine and it's definitely a great way to get warmed up another thing i really like to do is just kind of grab the bottoms of my heels which you see me do right about here and honestly it just kind of locks me in so i can just sit there lean forward and let the stretch do the magic all right so next stretch is the straddle so as you can see first step is to swing your legs out as far as you can and then use your hands to push them even further then all you're going to do is put your hands out in front of you and just kind of creep them forward like that sometimes you can rock back and forth a little bit if you want and uh yeah and uh yeah that's pretty much it 
And then once I'd start feeling comfortable with my arms out, I would bring my elbows to the ground. Now, if I could put my elbows on the ground, that was great. That's the next step of this process. And finally, I try to put my head on the ground. Now, this one is definitely a really big stretch, but that's pretty much how I did it. And then once that felt comfortable, I'd stretch my legs out a little bit further and do it over again. Now, one thing I forgot to include here in this video is sometimes I would lean side to side during that straddle stretch, but it's optional. You don't got to do it. All right, so this is probably the most random stretch of the routine. As you can see, I'm showing you how to do it here with all the steps if you want to follow along. But basically, this is targeting more of your glutes and your hamstrings from the leg opposite of the screen. So you can't see the leg I'm stretching right now because it's the leg furthest from you, but that's pretty much it. It really helps with the glute and hamstring like loosening pretty much. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. But yeah, it's just a great stretch for the back of your legs pretty much and it'll definitely help you gain your split flexibility. So speaking of splits, now we go into the lunges. This is the stuff I would do right before I attempted my front splits. So forward lunges, back lunges, it really just helps open up those hips. Stretches out your hip flexors, stretches out your hamstrings, hits everything really nicely. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So after that, I would go right into my split training, which meant just holding the front splits as long as I could. And then I would do the middle split last. Now, as you can see here, I actually got to touch again. This is the second time ever that I got to touch. So if you look at my progress right now, this is actually really great for me. I mean, I was doing way better than expected. And there it is again, I got that middle split to touch. Now I am cheating a little bit each day, but I'm getting it better also. So just keep that in mind. All right, and now we've reached about day 28, I believe. And this is at the gym. So this is right after one of my workouts. And yeah, I was feeling really good here. I got like that full split on the first one. This is pretty much a full split, but I couldn't quite get the full middle split. So that was a little bit of a letdown, but oh well. All right, it's the final day, day 29. Wait, man, I thought you said this was a 30 day challenge. Well, kind of. So basically day 29 was the last day I recorded anything. And yeah, bam, easy front split. And right there, that's kind of what happened. So I don't know if you could really tell from my face or not, but I kind of pulled something and <laughs> it didn't feel particularly wonderful. But anyways, there's the other side. Also pretty much a full split. Now going into the center split, this was my main goal of the entire challenge guys, just because I really wanted to get my middle splits. They were the worst and I actually got it. So there you have it guys, there is my progression. I'll give you some pictures right here so you can compare before and after shots. But yeah, that's pretty much how I did it in 30 days. So I would have trained again on day number 30, but that's actually today when I'm recording this and it just did not feel good. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new and I'll see you in the next video, yo. So yeah, peace out. Maybe you should take it slow